Good morning, everyone. My name is Tiziana Ferrari. I'm the coordinator of the USCABE project. And on behalf of every member of our consortium, as well as Freya and Shock, we are very glad to have you in this event in a format uh, which is virtual. I'm here in Italy, in uh, my garden, in quarantine, and it was our greatest desire to meet all of you physically in Amsterdam. Unfortunately, this is not possible this year. Nevertheless, we hope that uh, this virtual event is bringing a lot of content to you. I'm Simon Lambert, the coordinator of the Freya project. And on behalf of the entire project team, I'd like to welcome you to this online event entitled Realising the Open European Open Science Cloud, jointly organised with our fellow projects, EOSC Hub and Shock. The Freya project is soon coming to an end, and this event is a great opportunity to sum up our achievements and to look to the future. I'm the coordinator of Shock, which is the Social Science and Humanities Open Cloud. It's an EC cluster project. Uh, consisting of uh, almost 50 partners. In these uh, three days you will learn about how these uh, three key projects have been contributing to the implementation of the European Open Science Cloud, its policies and its technical services. You will learn about the EOSC core, major developments from EOSC Hub, the Freya project and uh, SHOCK, but also about horizontal services coming from Indigo, UDAT and UGI with thematic services for social sciences and humanities. Over the last three years, the Freya project has been advancing the infrastructure for persistent identifiers, which is an important foundation for the European Open Science Cloud and the global e-infrastructure. Persistent identifiers, or PIDs, are essential for FAIR data, but it is not only data sets and publications that need PIDs, but all kinds of other entities in the research field, including human beings, that is, the researchers ourselves, scientific instruments, research organisations, and so on. In Freya, we have been developing our vision of the PID graph into reality through core infrastructure and exciting pilot applications showing the vision implemented in a variety of scientific domains. What we want to accomplish with, uh, with SHOCK is the integration of social sciences and humanities into EOSC. And that, and that contains of data and software, but also tools and services. And last but not least, training, because infrastructures is not about machines only, it's about people. Infrastructures is to bringing together machines and people. And especially I think for social science humanities, we deal with quality of these data and tools and the software and we want to provide trust into the system because each platform drives on trust. I'm looking forward to this event not only as a chance to showcase the results of the Freya project but also along with EOSC Hub and SHOCK to show how we are assembling the building blocks of the European Open Science Cloud and putting them into use for the benefit of communities of researchers. But we will not only focus on the past, we will also look to the future in terms of sustainability of what is being developed and continuing engagement with communities. I hope you enjoy the coming days. Within the data clusters like SHOCK uh, and also the other ones, we already deal with providing services to the research communities. For me, the value added of EOSC is to work on cross-disciplinary uh, tools, um, combining data from different disciplines to break down the silos. And it's also about working together with e-infrastructures. And for me, it's very important that we bring in the researchers because we are building the, the, the EOSC for the researchers. So, Let's pay attention to what researchers want and need, and we are the serving organization. We hope that this event will be interactive and we look forward to an engaged discussion with you. So again, welcome to this event from all of us. Mm -hmm.